Hi guys, so in this video, I am going to show you a very nice IA idea, which is to use the normal distribution to find probabilities. And in this lesson, I'm gonna focus on my 5K running times. Now, the reason for this is I'm very interested in running and I happen to have a lot of data because I have a running watch. Uh, I record all my times, I'm on Strava, I have all these 5k times. So what I can do is with these times, I can get the average standard deviation, make myself a normal distribution curve and find the probability that I can break 17 minutes. For example, I'd love to be able to break 17 minutes. I've never done that or beat just beat my PB or even break. I can find the probability I can break the world record, which is definitely going to be very, very, very low. Anyway, you choose, it doesn't have to be running. Uh, you can do this with anything with, for which you have data and for which it is normally distributed. Okay, so first and foremost, get your data. Here is my data in Excel, like so. I have 43 different times. Now, um, you wanna, t again, as always guys, I'm gonna do this very, very quickly you are going to take your time and go through all the all the different steps required and talk about all the different um, limitations with your data etc for example this these times um they're not the only times i've done i've also had training runs where i wasn't really trying but these are the, these are the times in the last year that i've really really put an effort in to try and get a good time you could also just start from now and do maybe 5k would be difficult because you do need quite a bit of data, um, but you, you could certainly do it for, for 100 meters or even 10 meters or whatever. Okay, before I get going, guys, could you please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and check out my website, uh, mrflynib.com, in the link below. Okay, so firstly, I have the data is in this form, 1835. So I actually don't really want this. It's this is actually like a time format. So I I prefer this to be like so that's like 18 and 35 minutes, which is like 18.5 something. I want it in that format. So like uh, minutes as a decimal. So the way to do that is I'm going to say this equals this times 24, and there I get 18.58. The reason for that is there's 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. And that's how Excel converts this into this. You have to make sure that you click format cells and it's in number. Uh, and I'm going to two decimal places because that's certainly accurate enough for what I'm doing. And again, that's something you can talk about in your IA. Okay, then I'm gonna drag all this down here. Fill, so I fill in the whole column and then all these apply to this, okay. So here's my data. Now, we can't just assume that it's normally distributed. I have to kind of at least check what it looks like. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a histogram. So select the data, click insert, and here I have a histogram. Now, by the way, guys, if you don't have Excel, there's plenty of other programs that can do this. In fact, GeoGebra will be able to do something similar. Okay, again, guys, you make the chart look, give it a title, uh, label axis, etc. But I'm just going to um, show you what we're going to do very quickly here. So if I click this, um, actually, I'm going to double click it. Here I get, if I click this, the bins are what they call these are like, this is a bin, this is a bin, this is a bin, this is a bin. And the bin width goes from here to here. So um, again, guys, very quickly, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna say the overflow bin is 20 and the underflow is 17, like this. Or I might even have 17, let's go 17.4. Okay, so it looks some bit normally distributed, but I want to I want to change the bin width myself. So I want the bin width to be, let's say, let's say 0. Point, let's say 0. 0.2. Okay. Now, this is a histogram of my data. So this is between how many times did I run under 17.4 minutes once? 
how many times did I run between 17.4 and 17.6 minutes? Twice, and it goes along like this. So between 18.4 and 18.6 minutes, nine times. And you can see it's somewhat normally distributed. Now, you can, it's fine to say that that looks like a normal distribution, and you are gonna make the assumption that your data is normally distributed. Now it is essential, it's, it's very important that you are clarifying to the reader that you are making that assumption. You can't just assume data is normally distributed even if it looks like it is normally distributed. If you want to go further, you can actually test. You, there's a test to do for um, a test for normality to see is your data normally distributed. Um, those of you who study AI will be aware of the chi-square test. There's a number of different tests you can do to test for normality, but certainly the chi-square test would be the one I'd recommend because it's in the AI course. So that would be a nice little addition. You don't have to do that, but it can help for sure. Okay, so let's assume our, I'm not going to do that test now, for, definitely guys, let's, I'm just going to assume that it is normally distributed. If it is, if we've made that assumption, I need the mean and the standard deviation. Now the mean is definitely going to be along well, it's going to be somewhere around here. And the standard deviation, I don't know. I, I often tell my students to take a guess. Have a guess what you think this, the standard deviation would be. Um, because it, well, I find if you guess before you actually use your calculator, it helps you to understand what's actually going on. If you understand what the uh, standard deviation is, in, certainly in relation to a normal distribution, you should be able to give me a kind of a sensible guess. It's certainly not going to be like five or something like that. Um, okay, so I'm going to say, I'm going to use Excel to find my mean and standard deviation. By the way, uh, in your in your IA, show the process of how to do it. You don't have to do, you don't have to add up all of these and divide by 43, but just show that you know how to get the mean and show that you know how to get the, the standard deviation. So uh, this is gonna be, I'm gonna say equals, and then this. these are the functions that Excel has. Again, guys, GeoGebra can do this, and if you don't know how to do anything, just Google it. So average, or just ask me in the comments below and I'll, I'll be able to answer. So equals average, then you open brackets and you highlight all of these. I just hold down shift, highlight them all. So that will give me the average from B1 to B43, which is 18.47. So that's my average, um, that's my average 5K running time over these last, over the last year. Fine. Um, get the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is this STDEF, STDE. Sorry, S T D E V, and you have to put equals. Sorry, let me go back to that. So you have to do equals, equals standard deviation, open bracket, same thing. Highlight all of these, down to the forty third one. There, press enter, press enter, and this is my standard deviation: zero point six two nine. Three three nine nine seven three. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use the zero point six. I'm just gonna use it zero point six three um, to two decimal places because I think for the purposes of my investigation that is accurate enough. And you mentioned that in your IA. Talk about that. Why are you running to two decimal places? So once I have that, okay. This over here is the formula. I'm sorry, this is the normal dis the normal distribution function. Now, if you're in standard level, I suggest you don't even mention this, but a simple Google search will, will find you this function. But I want to use it to I want to use it to um, to draw my my curve. So I've just put A and B as sliders here. I've I've literally typed this in. A and B are sliders, so I can change A and I can change B. So A is 18.47, that is the mean. So it's here, 18.47. So I'm gonna put here 18.47. So look, if I this is my normal distribution curve. If I move the mean, it moves left if my mean is moving left and right if my mean is moving right. So I'm gonna put 18.47, so my mean 
is going to be at 18.47. Now, I'm going to change the axis so I can see it. So I need to be past 18.47. So let's go to, I don't know, 23. And let's go to here to, let's say, 14, right? So now I can see it here. The standard deviation shows you how spread the data is. So the bigger the standard deviation, the more spread out it is, etc. I'm also going to change the y axis here so we can see, get a clearer image of the curve. So from minus one to one. Okay, so as I move this, you can see it starts to spread out. So my standard deviation, my standard deviation, what was it? 0 0.63. So let's change this to 0 0.63. So that is my uh, that is my normal distribution curve. And you can see it mean at 18.47 and the standard deviation 0 0.63. I can take a screenshot of that, put it straight into my IA, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, now that I have this, or certainly now that I have the mean of the standard deviation, I can actually find probabilities. So let's find the probability, say menu, probability, distributions, normal CDF. What is the probability? Let's say that I beat 17 minutes. So I put a lower bound of, of this, like negative infinity. The upper bound is 17 minutes exactly, so 1.7. Mean is 18.47, 18.47. Standard deviation, 0 0.63. Press Enter. And there we go. The probability that I beat 17 minutes in 5k is 0 0.009815, so about 0 0.01. It's like 1 in 100. And to me, that makes sense because I've tried for years to beat 17 minutes. And honestly, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to beat 17 minutes. It's too quick. So never mind what's the world record. So let's actually find the 5k world record. 5k world record is 1235. That's in minutes. So let's let's go. Well, let's just pretend it's 12.5, which would be half half uh, a minute. 12.5, 12 and a half minutes. So I can do again. Let's copy and paste this. Copy, paste. Instead of 17, I want 12.5. Now I can guarantee you guys this is going to be really, really, really low. In fact, it's so low. It's just just given it to me zero. So the, the probability of me beating the world record, it's zero here because my calculator can't go much, can't round to such, um, it's such a small number that it's just rounding to, it's probably like more than 10 significant figures. It's zero round to 10 significant figures. Um, you can definitely use a more powerful computer to, if you want to find the actual, the actual answer. So that's kind of, it. That's basically what we're talking about. If you're doing, um, if you want to kind of take it further, you can then, and especially for analysis students, you can find, you can use um, Z values and that Z formula to find the new mean that you would require if you wanted to bring this probability down. So imagine you said, or bring it up. Imagine you said you want that probability to, to actually be something more realis realistic, like 0 0.1. What mean would you need? And then you can talk about how much more training you need to do, etc., etc. Um, finally, if you're doing HL, you might want to, and again, you don't have to do this. This IA is perfectly fine for, for HL without doing this. But if you do really want to get those kind of five and six out of six marks for, for criterion E, which is use of mathematics, you might actually want to explain this function in a bit more detail. And you can actually use integration to find the area under this curve, which is the probability. And you can find, you can, you can approximate the area using the Maclaurin series. I really like that idea because just integrating this um, on its own is really, 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 really tricky. In fact, it's almost impossible. But if you use the Maclaurin series, you can do it um, and get a really good estimation, but, but it's pretty accurate. Okay, that's it, guys. Hope, hope that makes sense. Hope some of you find that useful. As I say, 
Um, one of the reasons, in fact, the first time anyone ever asked me to do an IA, I was actually at an IB training, how to write an IA, and we had to come up with our own IA. And this was my idea because I thought straight away, I thought, well, what am I interested in? And running was something that came to mind immediately. And obviously, uh, it can be, we can analyze in fact, anyone who's into running knows that we're constantly analyzing our data, looking at uh, our times, etc., etc. Oh, yeah, and finally, one last thing. I know I've said finally two or three times now, but one last thing. You can also use, because this I added this into my IA as well, you can use the binomial distribution because you can say, uh, well, in Dubai, there was a thing where there was five races, and to win the trophy, you had to win at least three of the five races and um, so you can use a binomial distribution so find the pro what's the use the normal distribution to find the probability of you winning the race so let's say the probability of getting under you have to get under 17 and a half minutes to win the race uh, you can assume that if the if the second fastest person that's his pb or something like that and then using the binomial distribution where that's your probability and the number of trials is five you can find the probability of winning three out of five Hope that makes sense. Okay, guys, that's it. I will see you in the next video.